Hi, my name is Raul Roncal and I'm giving the reflection for this evening uh, liturgy. Uh, the liturgy is very familiar to all of us. It's the time when we commemorate the, the moment in the life of the disciples and Jesus where Jesus celebrated the Last Supper with them and in the Gospel of John, we see him washing the feet of his disciples. And we recall that this evening as a way of beginning the three days of celebrating and commemorating the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus explains the significance of the washing of the feet this way. He says, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord. And you are right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. What's the significance? Well, during the time of Jesus, the servants had certain ranks. Like, if you were five in the household, uh, there's rank number one, two, three, four, and five. And five is the lowest. If you are the lowest ranking servant in the household, you will be assigned to wash the feet of the guests. Now, most likely people wanted to be number one. Servant number one has the opportunity to pass on the job to servant number two. And maybe number two can pass the job to number three and number four maybe later on. But number five, the lowest ranking, knows that he cannot pass the job to anybody else. Now Jesus said to his disciples, I am washing your feet. And by the way, I am not even part of the ranking. I am your teacher. And yet I took the lowest position. And I washed your feet. And let me tell you this. You also need to take the lowest position and wash one another's feet. In a world that pursues number one, pursues power, influence, to always be on the top so that you can look down at others, maybe you can even tell them what to do. Jesus tells us that, hey, if you are a Christian, you're meant to aim for the lowest spot. And you need to be willing to serve and not pass on the opportunity to serve to somebody else. The call of Jesus for us disciples is this. We should be asking the question, what can I do to help, to make a difference, to serve, and not ask to be served because in the end that is what the world needs people who are doing things not for the sake of getting something out of their actions but only to give and we begin these three days with that message it's a powerful starting point because in the end what do we see someone who was willing to lay down his life for his friends to say i am not passing this to somebody else i will take it on and i will give my life for you that's the message of the gospel today jesus gave himself to us became the lowest ranking servant and he's telling us, life is about choosing the same thing. We must be willing to serve and look for opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others. God bless us. May this be the beginning of a fruitful uh, time to celebrate and commemorate the death, the suffering and death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless us.